Hello everybody, George Kenner. Why am I holding a pair of Facebook Meta Ray-Ban video recording sunglasses? Because I wanna make a point. The point is, is most people that buy anything over $200 research it on YouTube. I realize that. And I, I wanted to share my story of how I made the selection for my second CO2 laser. I'm sitting here right now with my Eon Mira 7, which was my first laser. It has filled my needs, everything was perfect. I have had no mechanical, no electrical. I have not even had a laser tube failure with this machine. I love it. I went on a cruise uh, in the spring of 2024 and I was down in Orlando, Florida. I got wind that the International Sign Association show, Eon, would be attending and that they were going to be introducing something new. Well, I delayed coming back with the family. I stayed for a couple of days in Orlando and went to the show. It was amazing. I'm gonna show you a video that I took off of the Jumbotron, which is something that really spurred me to look at a new laser. There are three or four big tangible changes that took place in the industry. Now, to me, they're exclusive to Eon. I've seen no one else do this. I went to all the other laser booths at the ISA and I could find no one that had come up with these ideas. Mostly they're toolless or operator systems that have changed. When I wanted to remove the lens from this machine, I had to take a little Allen wrench, take a couple a little M30 bolts out, remove the lens and clean it and put it back in. It was no big deal. It was really very easy to do, but they got even better. They took and magnetized the head that holds the lens so you merely slide it in and out. They also added a heat sensor to the lens case so in case the lens starts to get heated up because it's dirty it'll give you a warning you can burn these lenses it costs money so it's you know a money saving feature the one of the other things that they did was they went and compartmentalized the mirror system so the it is still adjusted but the container that holds the mirror is adjusted not the actual mirror. So if you want to remove the mirror and clean it or change a mirror, if there has been a problem with one of them, you don't have to go through all that adjustment. Now I'm starting from the lens and going back through the system backwards to the laser tube. Now the laser tube, they, it, they created a docking system for. You can literally move the tube and put it back in with another tube and still have all of the same alignments. Now those were features that I saw at the ISA. Also, I had been looking at the availability that is again, somewhat unique. I, I can't say absolutely, but Eon has what is called a supernova. It has both an RF radio frequency CO2 tube and a glass tube in it. Now, I wanted that because the engraving quality that comes off of the RF tube is a little bit higher. I made a specific video on that. I'll put a link down in the description to exactly what the difference in those tubes are. Well, from spring to summer, I got invited down to Camp Eon where they bring a bunch of, of their partners and different people from the industry into the same location and they talk laser. At this opportunity, we were at the showroom. In the showroom, they have all of their lasers, and then in the back room of the showroom, they have everyone else's. The Trotec, the Epilogue, they have a Boss, they have the new Ohmtec Pro, all of them there. They are very nice about saying, get the right tool for the job. But if you want to compare fit and finish quality, we can all just literally grab our cell phone and look at the price of these machines to do a comparison. And then you can walk back and literally see what you were, you were looking at buying. Well, I pretty much made my selection at the ISA that I was gonna get a Nova, Supernova 10. Well, it's on its way and I couldn't be happier. Now those are all tangible. You can put your hands on them, you can touch it. 
But the intangibles, some of those things that also led me to want, you know, to, to get another laser was company background. And I've made a list of these things. They're not a drop shipper. There's one of the lasers that they have that is custom labeled, manufactured by another company called G-Wiki. It's right there. I mean, you can literally open up G-Wik's site, compare the two machines, and if you change the paint job, G-Wik made it. They're just drop shipping that machine. Ask them to see their facility. And what you're gonna see is nothing like what Eon has. Um, research and development. If you have everybody else's machine and you pretty much know what the industry is doing, you can look at the weaknesses in each one of the machines and come up with solutions. That's something that they did. One of the things that they did along with the Redline series is upped it even one more level to what's called the Signature. Now the Signature series, they take in-house, in their production facility, they take a three by three inch aluminum bar that is aircraft grade and they mill it out because you need that strength to go the speed that is now known by the fastest laser in the world. Also, in their facility, they have larger lasers. Why I was at, at camp, they had a large bed laser and another canister laser that is much taller than this. It's about seven feet tall, has I think a four foot by four foot bed. It will cut steel. They had that there and I said, are you gonna start selling these? I'd heard something along that line, but it, it had not been confirmed. And I said, how much is that? And one of the engineers said, you know, the price that those are gonna be offered at is about the same as one of the high-end Epilog or Protect machines. So you'd have to call them for pricing. I never get involved in pricing on any review because th all those things change and fluctuate. Um, another thing Eon does is support of the laser community. They brought us all in there. I paid for it myself, but they created the opportunity. I paid for my flight, I paid for my hotel, I paid for my food. But the opportunity was invaluable. One of the, the premier authority on RF ceramic tubes was there to answer any question we had. And they were so excited to be there to hear what our challenges were as makers, creators, inventors. Now, my machine, I pretty much use even to make tools for my wood shop. Um, patterns, jigs, that type of thing. I also engrave cutting boards. I could do anything with the machine, but I, I got fascinated with acrylic. Let me show you the photorealistic quality of the engrave you can get from an Eon and why I wanted to get a supernova. It is really pretty incredible. The showroom is available if you pick up the phone and call Eon, I don't know exactly what their policy is, but I have a feeling that you, if you wanted to review, say, um, and compare their Mira 7 or Mira 9 or even one of the Novas to one of the other machines in the back, you can make an appointment, call them, go down and look physically at both machines. It, it's something you don't have to take somebody on YouTube's word for it. To me, that means a lot they do work with um, members of the community that have YouTube channels, but it's not as though you have to believe anything I say, you can go and physically lay your hands on it yourself. They have some very large machines in there that are also available for sale they utilize them to, in their research and development to make these machines even better, but they have these bigger lasers and they're going to be available. When you look at one of the bigger lasers, this was cut out of a, about a four millimeter piece, a four millimeter thick piece of aluminum. We cut four of these out. I'm gonna make something for the engineer out of this. He doesn't know it's coming yet. Well, I guess maybe now he will. So we cut four of these out in about four minutes. Someone else, another influencer was there at the same time that I was looking at this and she was seriously thinking, how do I get my hands on these? I wanna buy one. Her husband pulled out his phone and said somebody wanted him to cut a dolphin out of a piece of steel for uh, support for a stair railing system. 
They were both impressed. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't have one. I would want one, but it can't fit in my garage. That machine actually will even run off of 220. Two years ago, when I first saw one of these machines, one of the salesmen, Martin, he pulled up his phone and he showed me the math. He showed me something similar that was cut on his phone. We did the math and how long it would take to pay for one of the machines. It was almost instantaneous. I have a feeling that this is going to be one of the growing areas, not only for the sale of um, CO2 machines, but for machines that are capable of cutting denser and thicker metals. They also sell fiber lasers. They're deeply committed to this industry. They're not a drop shipper. If, all, if, if I were buying a laser right now, which is part of what I'm trying to share with you, ask the questions. Ask them if they have these three features, the mirror, the lenses, and the docking tube. They even put a new leveling system with a bubble level in um, the larger machines that was not present before. They're always thinking of how to make things better. When I was at the ISA show, I saw really no new fabulous introductions by anybody else. If you have any questions, I put my email address in the comments and description area. You can write me an email. We can arrange to have a call. You can interview me, quiz me, question me. If you're looking at a laser, I'm not gonna talk bad about anybody else's laser. I want you to get the right tool for the job. I even have a Facebook group called Laser Freedom. You can come in there and ask people, should I buy an X tool? Should, you know, what is, what is your experience with this machine or that machine? Somebody will answer and I won't censor it. This is not a site that is controlled by any manufacturer. I just, we all have the right to differ in our opinions. I wish you the best. I hope this video was some, of some value. Please subscribe if you think I did a good job and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.